Hello, America. I just want to give a shout out right now to all y'all registered nurses. All y'all RNs out there. You see, a lot of people think, oh man, them RNs, they make a lot of money. They make good money. People think that nursing is such a, an awesome job to have. They, they watch these TV shows like ER, Grey's Anatomy, Nurse Jackie, and they're like, oh man, that looks so exciting. On these TV shows, a patient will go into cardiac arrest. A nurse will walk in and be like, the doctor isn't here. I'm going to have to crack the patient's chest open and massage their heart with my hand. Let me tell you something. That is not what happens for an RN on a daily basis. Let me tell you about what nurses really have to to do what nurses really have to deal with on a shift to shift basis first of all did you know that a nurse has to have a smile on their face every time they walk into a patient's room do you know how hard it is after you just got pooped on you got peed on or you got cussed out because you didn't have enough sugar packets for the patient's coffee now you got to walk into another patient's room with a smile on your face like nothing's wrong like you've had a great day and when the patient asks oh are you having a good day you have to smile and say oh yes i'm having a great day are you having a great day because i'm having a great day and a a lot of time, nurses don't know what they're walking into when they walk into a patient's room. Yeah, you just got report. The patient was mentally stable. Everything's good. Vitals are great. You go to walk into a patient's room. They ain't mentally stable. They sitting there pulling out IVs, pulling the catheter out their pee hole, standing up, urinating on the IV pole, and they're talking to somebody who's obviously not there, but they're talking to something or someone like it's there. But in report, they were mentally stable. Everything's been great all day. Having to deal with patients' families. Oh my God. Most of the time, the family is worse than the patient. You walk in, you're trying to do stuff. They got 14 million questions. Hey, what's that number up there on that monitor? Why does that green one say 66? What, what's that red right there? Is that the blood pressure? Is that okay right there? The blood pressure is 120 over 80. That's normal. I didn't what my mama's blood pressure usually runs. We take it at the house. It runs 119 over 79. You let my mama die. I want to talk to a doctor. I want a different nurse. Your orders from the doctor is to get some labs. At 3 a.m., you get some abnormal labs. So you call him, but he's mad at you because you called him with the abnormal labs that you were ordered to call him with. But guess what, Mr. MD? You went to school for this. You ordered it, so I'm gonna call you with it. Nurses have to chart every single thing they do. And they be having to chart the same thing multiple times in different locations. Have to chart it here. Have to chart it there. You have to chart here that you charted there. And now it's all about protocols. You gotta follow the protocol for everything. Hey, uh, Miss Smith in 103 has a fever of 102. Can I give her some Motrin? No, you gotta follow the fever protocol. And the fever protocol clearly states that if the patient has a temperature of 100 to 102, you must deliver 500 milligrams of ibuprofen. Then after 20 minutes, you must take another rectal temperature. If the patient still has a fever, you must then deliver 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. Can't just call the doctor and get 800 milligrams of ibuprofen the first time. You gotta follow the protocol. Call lights. You can't forget about call lights. That's the little light outside the patient's door. Every time a call light goes off in a hospital somewhere, a nurse has a little mini stroke. Their eyes twitch a little bit because they know it's gonna be some BS like the patient needs help finding the remote. To all those people out there, who think that nurses do what they do for the money. There's plenty of jobs out there that make just as much money, if not more money than a nurse. And you ain't got to worry about getting pooped on. You ain't got to worry about getting punched, cussed at. You ain't got to worry about riding home crying because somebody died on you. I can guarantee you if most people stepped into a nurse's shoes for one shift, they'd be like, this ain't enough money. I need more money to do this job. But to all y'all nurses out there, thank y'all for what y'all do. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate y'all. Love you.